Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Western Garages Volkswagen dealership here in Ennis in County Clare. So I'll be taking you on a full tour and test drive of Volkswagen's brand new SUV, the T-Roc. So we'll have a look all around the outside, then we'll have a full look inside of the interior and then we'll be going on a test drive. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this guys. Let's go. So starting off with the exterior looks, I do like it. It's a nice, neat piece of design here. The proportions do work very well with this compact SUV, the T-Roc. So let's just start off with some of the features added onto this car because it does have 3,200 euro worth of extras added onto it. So this is the design package you're looking at at the moment, but it does have extras from the sport package added on to it. So I'm just going to go down through some of those extras on this particular model. So we have the 17 inch alloy wheels. They are a 10 spoke design and they do look very well. Uh, they suit the car nicely and it does come standard with 16 inch alloy wheels on the design package. And we have those tires there are 215 55 profile tires on these 17 inch alloy wheels. And we do have nice protection over the arch there, the plastic all around the arch and that chrome strip there going down the base of the door. That is an additional feature as well. And we do have that very nice deep black pearl metallic paint, which is a 622 euro option on this particular model. And it goes well, as, it goes well with the uh, contrasting white roof there as well. So if you were to have a white car, you could have a black roof and we have the black here with the white roof. It all depends what color you want. You can uh, change your roof and have it exactly as you want. So we have the LED lighting package there at the front. So this is just over 1200 euro, an option that you can have on your T-Roc. So that has full LED headlamps there and we have the LED daytime running lamp there, which is also your indicator. So a nice feature there, your LED lighting package on your T-Roc. A nice silver effect there at the bottom of the bumper and your front fog lamps also. So yeah, a lot of money on these extras, 3,200 euro on this model you're looking at here at the moment. And the T-Roc comes in at a standard price of 25,500 euro. That would be for the design package, which comes with the 16 inch alloy wheels as standard. And we also have the addition of the roof rails there as well. And the mirrors are electrically adjustable, but if you want them folding in, and if you also want the blind spot monitoring, that is a 415 euro option. But they are electric on this. This particular model does not have the blind spot monitoring. So just something to keep in mind, if you are ordering the car, you might want to have your blind spot monitoring and nice, neat design there at the rear as well. Um, they are not the exhausts. They are just, um, just to give it a nice effect there at the bottom of the bumper. Your exhaust is situated underneath there. So uh, I'm not too gone on them. I don't know what you guys think, but I don't really like the fake look on the exhausts. So this is your key. We have simply lock, unlock, and we can also open the boot and have all four doors locked if we wish as well. So uh, we just flick open the key, unlock it, and I'll just give you a sound of the door closing there. And again. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Let's get inside. So as we look inside of the T-Roc then, you'll notice we have an all black interior to this particular model. Uh, you can get colored inserts for your T-Roc. So where you have the door panel here, you might have that in red, blue or yellow and also all along the dashboard as well. It depends what way you spec your T-Roc, but it's definitely an option I would pick because it does brighten up the interior of the T-Roc. And also those colored inserts will be matched in on the seats as well. So where you have the white tracks all along the seats on this model, um, they would be colored to match in with your inserts. 
So it's just black and white on this model to match in with the black and white on the exterior. So just something to think about if you are buying a T-Rock. We do have standard leather covered steering wheel on all T-Rocks as is the gear knob. They are standard. Um, we have electric mirror, um, windows there on the rear and on the front and electric adjustment for our rear view mirrors. So hopping inside and we will look at this very nice eight inch display here. So this display is standard on the design package and on the sport package T-Rock and it is 6.5 inch on the standard T-Rock. So uh, let's just press our menu function there. So we have radio, media, app connect. So we have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And we can even put up some of our photos on this screen if we wish. We can pair up our phone by Bluetooth. And we have air conditioning as well. Oh, I just need to turn on the ignition. So we have air conditioning as well. Nicely displayed there as well. And we have voice recognition. Temperature. Let's see, does it? Air conditioning functions cannot be operated by voice control. So there you have it. <laughs> you can't operate temperature by voice, okay? But you can do it with satellite navigation and your phone and various other functions will operate with voice control. So moving down here, we have air conditioning controls here. Very nice, easy to use. We can turn on and off our parking sensors there as well if we don't want them buzzing at us. You can switch them off. And we have our auto stop start function for our engine. Moving down to the gearbox, six speed gearbox. On this particular model, we'll talk about engine options shortly. And down and up for reverse. And we have two USB connections. They are standard on the design package and on the sport package. Now, on some models of T-Rock, you can get inductive charging. So you would get your smartphone, you would place it there and it would charge automatically with no wires. So that is on some models of the T-Rock. And we move down here, we have our electric handbrake and our brake hold function. Very handy for your hill starts. And we have our cup holders there. So your cups might move slightly in them. Uh, not too bad, but uh, we have storage there and the armrest as well. We can move that in or out, lift it up and we have storage underneath it as well and moving over to the glove box we have our cd player up there and we have an sd card slot as well in there so your cd player hidden away there a small enough glove box not too big but i can see a time where there will be no cd players at all in cars in the future um, they are completely being done away with and it's all going digital but the top of the dashboard has come in for criticism, of course, all hard plastic. Um, and even down here as well, all hard plastic. But um, yeah, I don't know why they've done that because it is available on the Polo um, foam filled. Nice soft touch to the Polo. But anyway, our display here is an, it is an analog display. You can get an active info display, which is 558 euro. So it's available as an option and I'll show you that display later on in a Volkswagen Golf brand new one in the showroom. So we have a rev counter there and we have engine temperature and our display here, information display. We're a bit low on fuel so I need to top this car up. We have a speedometer there and fuel gauge. So that is your simple layout there. Um, on the steering wheel we have all our voice recognition control and volume, phone and various stereo functions here. And we have our adaptive cruise control on this particular model. So a very handy feature to have. It will match the, the speed of the car ahead of you and slow down and speed up with that car, uh, which is very good as well. And that is your um, lane departure warning as well. We have that as well. Um, we'll check that out when we go out on our drive, our um, lane assist function. And we also have um, autonomous emergency braking as well so the car will brake itself automatically should it detect an accident is imminent so hopping into the rear of the T-Rock let's just see how much space we have behind my driving position now I am six feet two inches and that is the space behind my position there so it wouldn't be very much I probably have about a half an inch there at the most 
but the head space is very good I have about an inch and a half over my head there so I'd be happy with that now bear in mind if you get the model with the panoramic sunroof it might take away a bit of that head space but uh, yeah this is good and we have LED lamps there on the ceiling as well so they are nice and down below here we have a 12 volt socket uh, no USB just that 12 volt socket and let's just fold out our rear armrest we have two cup holders there which can be adjusted for different size cups for handy and let's just fold out our ski hatch there you'll notice we have a warning triangle there in the rear as well in the boot so let's fold that up now you'll notice we have tinted rear windows as well on the side windows and on the rear they are standard with this design package and also on the sport package your tinted rear windows and we have ventilation controls there for your rear passengers as well so yeah let's have a look at the boot and the rear tail lamps are standard leds on all t-rocks on the rear second car to be registered in the county of clare as well 181 ce2 so let's open it up then so uh we have a foam cover there just on the rear boot floor just to protect it and keep your carpet nice and clean so let's just remove that and show you here we have a big boot it is bigger than the golf um, with the boot floor folded down we have 445 liters whereas the golf would have 380 we have a full size spare wheel as well always nice to see that and all the equipment there that you need all around it so we could fold down this floor it's only just that i can't get it in because of these little foam pieces here so i could remove them and fold it in but it's not my car so i'm not going to do that <laughs> and we can fold down the rear seats as well so 40 40 20 split and that will give you even more space so there's nothing wrong with the amount of boot space in the T-Rock. It is very acceptable. So yeah, let's just have a look at the engine. So let's get the bonnet open then and talk about engines and the sizes available. By the way, the fuel filler cap is opened with the doors. So when you lock the doors, your fuel filler cap is locked. And the guys below there just washing cars at the moment so we have six engines available at the moment for the t-rock three diesels and three petrols and in this particular model we have the one liter three cylinder turbo petrol so this develops 115 horsepower but you can also get 150 horsepower and 190 horsepower outputs all available in petrol or diesels for those outputs so that is the engine of the t-rock it's time now to take it for a test drive and see how it is on the road. Okay, let's start it up and hit the road. Okay, let's go <laughs> in the T-Rock. Take off our electronic handbrake and priority number one is putting a bit of fuel in this car before we take it for a test drive because uh, I don't know how far I'm going to go in it before I can uh, do a full judgment on it but yeah we'll fill up with fuel and then we'll hit the road guys now let's hit the road and see what this T-Rock is all about um, yeah so as I said we're in, we're in the one liter three cylinder turbo petrol model here yeah so this is it my first time driving it now <laughs> it is quiet and it is smooth I really do like that <laughs> and the suspension as well nicely judged for uh, for the feel of the car there I'm just going nice and handy here because we are still in a 50 kilometer zone but yeah, I do like the driving position as well. I can get it low, which is very good for me. So uh, plenty of headspace there, as you can see. Okay, we can get it up to 80 kilometers here now. Let's have a listen to it. <laughs> I'm surprised by this little engine. I'm taking a back road here at the moment because I just want a shortcut 
out to the motorway. So what you can also get on the T-Rock is adaptive chassis control and with that package comes progressive steering. So with progressive steering it's just you're doing less inputs into the, the steering so it, uh, it makes the steering faster reacting you know so um, um, I'd like to drive one with that adaptive chassis control and the progressive steering just to see the difference hopefully some point in the future maybe I'll take one of those for a drive let me just see now how sprightly it is yeah <laughs> you would know you're in a one liter three cylinder definitely um, yeah that low down power it could do with more power there all right so uh, maybe the 1.5 TSI Evo engine would be the engine to go for but let's just do another test here now heading out to the motorway yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, I wouldn't be too happy with that power now um, but maybe you would but I think the 150 horsepower engine would be the one to go for the 1.5 TSI Evo and remember you can get 2 litre diesel engines as well um, they come in 150 horsepower and 190 horsepower as well so you can opt for your diesel engines now there is a 1.6 diesel coming as well but that's not coming until around June of uh, 2018 and that will have the same amount of power as this 1 litre uh, turbo petrol so it might be something to think about maybe you're okay having this petrol engine as opposed to the 1.6 with the same power but some of you might want an extra bit of torque for pulling trailers so you might wait for the diesel but if you're not pulling trailers this engine is perfectly fine and I'm just doing hundred kilometers now at the moment I always have to get a car up to 120 to see what sort of um, wind noise is developed now it, it is a dead calm day today so it's a very good day for testing now I am getting wind noise around by that pillar there so I thought that that might be quieter than that but it's not too bad it's not too bad yeah but it is there so just keep that in mind as well but anyway yeah I do like the driving position as I said and I can get it to my perfect driving position and plenty of space around by my leg as well which I really do like that is very important for me with long legs I do like to have space all around this area here and I have can rest my foot as well on the foot rest and yeah we're cruising away nicely here beautiful day today to test this car <laughs> let me just get it back up to 120 here um, but the engine is you don't hear much of the engine even at 120 there now it's probably on par with my own car the Civic for noise levels but uh, other than that I'm very happy with the way this car is driving <laughs> I'd really like to drive that 150 brake horsepower um, 1.5 TSI Evo engine I think that is the one I would go for just to have that little bit more power because taking off there 0 to 60 I definitely noticed it was down on power so uh, yeah I wouldn't be happy with this little engine but it might be perfectly fine for yourself and it's only 200 euro to tax for the year as well so bear that in mind as well um, yeah so I'm very happy with the way this is driving <laughs> plenty of headspace over my head as well uh, let's just turn in off the motorway now and make our way back but uh, th the car is very quiet look when we just come to a stop here I'm just gonna stop here just for a quick second yeah it is very quiet I like that I'm just going to make my way back out onto the motorway and head back to Western garages so slight bit of a bend here let's just see how it handles of course you can get four motion as well four-wheel drive that is an option on the sport package and this design package if you wanted four motion four-wheel drive which would be very good to have um, yeah just uh, let's go around this bend here <laughs> see how see how it handles yeah not too bad 
the bend gets a bit sharper here now let's drop it down another gear and out onto the motorway okay let's try it for power again it doesn't sound too bad as well so I'm back up here now at 120 kbh and we are revving in at 2600 rpm so it would be a bit high revving for this small little engine and obviously the bigger diesel engines would uh, would rev in lower than that and they would have more torque as well but it all depends what you opt for there are so many options with this car to choose from it's just incredible you could spend multiples of thousands just spending it on options but yeah I do like the way it drives and nice steering wheel as well and the seats as well comfortable they would be nice and comfortable on a long journey and nice comfortable headrest too let's just test out the lane keep assist guys so will it will it keep me back in my lane let's just pretend we're moving off yeah <laughs> It moved me back out there guys, watch. Nearly on the line, look. <laughs> it moved me back out. That is fantastic. I really like that feature. The lane keep assist. That was fantastic. It just made small little movements to my steering wheel and moved me back into the lane. So that would work absolutely fantastic with your adaptive cruise control as well. That would make for a really relaxed drive in this T-Rock. Definitely, if I was ordering this car, get your adaptive cruise control. And um, obviously you have lane keep assist as standard anyway. But uh, yeah, those two systems combined, absolutely. They would be great on a long journey. So that is it, <laughs> my little spin in the T-Rock and Alan there just heading off and somebody taking it for a test drive now at the moment. Yeah, so I quite enjoy that T-Rock. Now I'm just going to bring you inside the showroom because I just want to show you that small little active info display that is also available on the T-Rock. So let's have a look at that now inside in a new Golf. <laughs> so before we go inside, I'm just going to show you around some cars parked outside here. Of course, we have the new Polo there, and we have a brand new Tiguan here as well. So the Tiguan is eight inches longer than the T-Rock, and it's also higher as well. Uh, so if you want more space, maybe you want to go for the Tiguan as opposed to the T-Rock. And I'm just going to bring you over here. We have a uh, Opel Insignia there pulling out. Um, we have this lovely, you can see it there with the light shining on it there. It's ultraviolet blue on this Scirocco here. Uh, it's a very, very nice color. I really do like that. And we have those 18 inch alloy wheels as well on this brand new Volkswagen Scirocco. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And we have the Touareg here as well. Of course, there is a new Touareg due at the end of this year. The Volkswagen Touareg, a big SUV there. Um, we're just going to go into the showroom here and I'll give you a quick look at that Golf with the active info display. We have the Touran there as well, the MPV from Volkswagen. Um, let's just open up this Mark 7 Golf here and I'll give you a look at the active info display. We have the 17 inch alloy wheels on this model here as well. So let's open it up and have a look. So it automatically comes into life there, the active info display. I'm just going to put the key in and get this screen. And just, just to show you the difference and what is available on the, the uh, T-Rock. So you can get this display if you wish on the new T-Rock. It all depends what you're willing to go on with options. And that's a lovely display as well. That is also eight inch here on the Golf and pretty much the same climate control functions there as the T-Rock 
and yeah the golf is nice though isn't it <laughs> let's have a look at the throw here yeah pretty much the same feeling throw as the t-rock yeah that's uh pretty nice guys yeah so that was just a quick look there at the active info display on the golf let's take it out again and lock it back up and i'll just give you a quick look as well we have the t-rock here this is the design package here so we have the smaller 16 inch alloy wheels and you'll notice as well we don't have the chrome down at the bottom of the doors on that particular model and over here we have another mark 7 golf and the passat and we have a golf estate here as well so for that extra luggage capacity get your volkswagen golf estate and we have another tiguan here as well so that is how it looks in the showroom at Western Garages. And that is where I'm going to leave you all today from Western Garages here in Ennis. As we just watched the T-Rock heading off there. Very nice <laughs> with the LED package there. Cheers, friend. But yeah, that is quite a nice car to drive. I do like it. Um, I would go for one with more power though, uh, 150 brake horsepower I would feel would be enough but you might be more than happy with that one litre um, turbo petrol, <laughs> the three cylinder turbo petrol. But that is it guys, I'm going to leave you all there, thank you very much for watching and if you want more information on the T-Rock and other Volkswagen models be sure and call in to Western Garages in Ennis. But that's where I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you all very much for watching and I will talk to you all again next weekend for another video. So until then, take care and thanks for watching. Cheers!